These arms, at first glance, appear to be pretty scrawny, but I think that's just because they're next to these He-Man level muscular thighs. Herrerasaurus's arms, based on the prominence of the attachment points for tendons and muscles, seem to have been pretty muscular, and simply because of the ratio of the length of the humerus to the forearm to the hand, they had a lot of mechanical advantage using their arms for grasping and as weapons. The arms and hands on this toy are approximately the appropriate length, though the fingers are entirely too wide. The claws on the ends of the fingers are probably too small for once. Like theropod claws, they were narrow and strongly recurved, and on Herrerasaurus they were quite big. Because they had such long fingers, especially the finger bone just before the claw, the penultimate phalanges, were quite long, that's geometrically just very useful if you're using your hand for grasping. And due to the shape of the hand bones where the fingers attach to them, whenever the fingers would flex or extend, they would push together. So fingers two and three would push into one another and sort of form one big claw between the two of them. This could be used to rake at a target, whether it's another Herrerasaurus or a prey animal. This would be helped by the fact that their fingers could extend nearly perpendicular to the hand. The hand attached to the wrist in kind of a unique way among dinosaurs. The wrist was somewhat double-jointed. It could hinge at two places to rotate inwards 45 degrees, as well as seemingly invert and evert a little bit, which is where that hand moves in the plane of the forearm. That's kind of unique in dinosaurs because usually the hand is pretty rigidly attached to the forearm until you get to the, the pair apes, until you get close to birds and they start to be able to fold their wing. But that's a completely different arrangement of wrist bones anyway. Clearly then, the hands were multi-purpose tools and weapons for goring at competitors or for grasping at prey. 